<laughs> Jerk. Chatty sucks. This is Chris. I'm stuck in the elevator. There's been a crime afoot. Yep, this is gonna be a lawsuit. Okay, I think I'll take the stairs after that. Gang bangers will say is La Raza. You're refusing to wear a mask? Yes. Okay, thank you. Ma'am, what's your job duty? We're, we're, we're stepping up. Ma Did she lock us in here? Man, this lady just locked us inside of a vault. Golly. Okay. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's Fraud at a Roundup with Sheriff Wyatt A. Moron. I want to welcome you back to my channel. Help it continue to shrink by watching my videos, sharing my videos, commenting on my videos. Turn on that notification bell and turn on all the notifications. Consider a membership. Take that there like button, like it, dislike it. For the next two weeks, after it goes to bed, sneak out. Add a full gas can full of gasoline to its car. And then for the following two weeks... Go siphon out a full gas can of gasoline. Make you wonder what the hell's going on with its mileage. Today we're looking mostly at Sean Paul Reyes. Channel name is Long Island Audit. He is a renowned goat fucker. But today he heads over to the city of Dalton, Illinois to harass the mayor at a town hall. Now this mayor does seem to have a lot of questions to answer. But that's not what my channel's about. Now, I'd seen this video before, but I skipped right through it. Didn't think much of it. Until I saw the channel Dr. Dave Beer Professor. He covered this and discovered something interesting. In what may be the worst crossover since Freddy vs. Jason, Goat Boy makes an appearance at the end. But does not seem to impress Sean Paul much at all. It is a short, quick meeting. So let's watch this meeting and let's watch Sean Paul completely gaslight his audience with a completely distorted version of what's going on. You'll see what I'm talking about. So what do you say? Let's rise up a frown here. Now we are here at the Thornton Township where Mayor Tiffany Henyard is inside. We are going to try and confront her and speak to her and exercise our freedom of speech. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Oh man, I just came all the way from the city of Chicago, stuck in traffic. Almost missed the meeting. I believe it's still going on. Make sure you hit that like button and share this video. We're going in. There she is, ladies and gentlemen, the most corrupt mayor in America. Yeah, see, your son was what? Wow. Who said that, ma'am? Michael He's this guy? Yes. Did you say that her son was murdered because Mayor Tiffany Henry? She didn't support. Don't come on. Take first of all, take your phone out of my face. Did you say that her son was murdered because she didn't support? Look, two things. One, you ain't a journalist. We all know that. Two, do you think this guy's paid with tax dollars? Five seconds ago, you didn't know that this guy existed. Now you're trying to interview him. He told you back off more than once. It's more than enough. Leave him alone. Take your phone Tiffany out of my Henry. face. Did you say Take that she was murdered? Take your phone out of my face, man. What's wrong with you? I'm asking you a question. You don't come in my face with your phone. I'm asking you a question. Take your phone out of my face, dude. It's out of your face. What's wrong it's with you? It's out in your face. Did you? What the f is wrong with you? Get your phone out of my face, man. Oh, I'm asking you a question. Get your phone out of my face. You said that son was killed because she didn't support Tiffany Henry. I was asking a question. I was asking a question. I can ask him a question. You can ask him a question, but you can't record. This is for media. Oh, I can record anywhere in a public meeting. That's for sure. You say, I'm sorry. I can record anywhere in a public meeting. People are having a hard time hearing. The most corrupt mayor in America. Her and her goons. We just saw her goons. 
A lot of goons in here from Mayor Tiffany Henyard. A lot of goons in here from Mayor Tiffany Henyard. I just walked in and things got real crazy. Tiffany Henyard's goons came at me. Insane. I was asking him a question. I can ask him a question. You can ask him a question, but you can't record. This is for media. Oh, I can record anywhere in a public meeting. That's for sure. You say, I'm sorry. I can record anywhere in a public meeting. We're having a hard time hearing. Oh my God, what a Nazi. I was so scared of that guy, I nearly pooped my pants. Let the gas lighting begin. Tiffany Henry's goon that, that told this woman that her son was this man in the black jacket said that the woman in the red hat son was murdered because she didn't support Tiffany Henry. And when I asked him about it, he went crazy. Make sure you guys hit that like button and share this video. You don't know what's going to happen here. We got Tiffany Henry's goons everywhere. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. America's most corrupt mayor. These tyrants are serious goons. I was already confronted by one of them who said that a woman's son was murdered because she didn't support Tiffany Henyard. Those guys in the back are Mayor Tiffany Henyard's goons. They're everywhere. Look at her smug face. Thank you. She's so smug. The super mayor's goons are everywhere. I was already confronted by some of them. That's one of her goons right there. Tiffany Henyard's goons are everywhere. Those are all Mayor Tiffany Henyard's goons right there. I was confronted by one of them when I first started the stream. They keep coming up behind me. In my opinion, I'll just, you know, I'll say that and I'm just speaking for myself right now. Um, so I heard a lot of people just kind of throwing stuff out there when some of the people were talking They keep circling me trying to intimidate me. It ain't gonna work. It's not gonna work. Tyrants don't intimidate me. Neither do goon thugs. Did you just say tyrants and goon thugs don't intimidate you? I just got one thing to say to that. Bitch, please! Today's front and around the bitch, please is brought to you by the Bud Riser Beer Company. Gents, sometimes you just want to watch the game in peace, right? So for those times when you just need to get her drunk. Look, seriously. We need to look into the ads. So you're not intimidated by thugs and tyrants. Bitch, please. They ain't talked to you. They ain't done nothing. Pretty soon they're going to give you the mic. So, Those are all the goons, again, so and they're back there yes, in the back just, room as well. Uh, Hit that like button, uh, share uh, this. Uh, Our goons are everywhere. It's insane. I was already confronted by some of them. Absolutely insane. Look at her arrogant um, face. You know, one of the other things, we, you know, people talk about audits and that, and there's, you know, there's different types. Um, there's one that's Look just sitting there and says, okay, there's X, Y, Z. I hope y'all enjoyed y'all stuff this evening and you guys. Look at her golden mic. Where's the receipts? Where's the receipts? You said you got receipts. Where are they? This is Mayor Tiffany Henry, the number one goon. Keeps circling me around, keeps coming behind me. So if he's just circling around, wouldn't he be circling around to everybody? Why do you feel singled out? It's terrible! And then you got an office in Calumet City! Should our records be in Calumet City City Hall? No! They should not! They should not! They should be here in the township! Let's talk the truth! Let's talk the truth! It's all about you because you wanted to be the supervisor! Ladies and gentlemen, the reincarnated godfather of soul, James Brown. Where? Town hall. Hey, hey. Full of people. Hey, hey. I said town hall. Full of people. Where? Well, well. Over 
I was gonna go real quick. I'm gonna be quick. I'm gonna be real quick, man. My name is Sean Paul Reyes. I'm an independent journalist. My company's name is Long Island Audit Inc. I travel around the country from New York to California and everywhere in between investigating corruption. I have never, ever seen corrupt corruption like Mayor Tiffany Henyon. Super mayor, super corrupt. Your police department threatened your police chief, who's not even qualified to be the police chief, can't even pass a simple exam, not even qualified, pulled out his handcuffs to try and intimidate me with unlawful arrest. Another officer threatened to throw me into a cell. Not a cell, a dungeon. Come on, focus. There's over 15,000 people here watching you live, Mayor Henyard, and you're being a coward. You won't even look me in the eye. 15,000 people and you're disrespectful. 15,000 people watching you here. I've gone to every single state almost and I've seen the worst of the worst politicians, police officers from Connecticut, everywhere in between. And I've never seen a police department this bad. It needs to be disbanded. You talk about these receipts, where are they? You do these podcasts, but you don't say anything. You don't say anything. I got receipts, you show papers, you shuffle them around, and you don't do anything. Lori Lightfoot's not going to get you, the FBI's going to get you, and they're going to throw you in the federal penitentiary. That day is going to come. Yep, threatening ramifications for a situation you ain't involved in? Hallmark of any great journalist. Lori Lightfoot, to everybody here from Dalton and everybody watching, she has no legal authority to do anything. It's a waste of time. She has a waste of time and money. It's going to cost you at least $30,000. And she has no subpoena power. She's going to pay $400 an hour. $30,000 is 72 hours. She'll be done in two weeks. And then what is she going to find? That, she, that this woman that we all know she's corrupt is corrupt? She's going to ask Tiffany Henyard for, for documents that she's never provided to anybody else under FOIA, under law? The Attorney General can't even get her to fork over documents. You think she's going to hand it over to Lori Lightfoot? She's not. Newsflash, she's not. Tiffany Henyard is going, she has a police vehicle as her personal vehicle. That's against state law. State law. We should call the police right now and have them confiscate her vehicle. South Holland Police, South Holland Police needs to confiscate her Tahoe. Journalism so hard. Because it has lights, it has a municipal police plate, and Thornton Township's not allowed to have, per state statute, is not allowed to have a police vehicle. And she's driving around in an illegal police vehicle. Probably the person driving is not even law enforcement. Impersonating a police officer. Ah uh, yes, baseless accusations of a crime. Another hallmark of a great journalist. You should be ashamed of yourself. 16,800 people watching, Mayor Henyard, Supervisor Henyard, whatever you want to call yourself, Crooked Henyard. And you don't even have the guts to see them, look them in the eye. You don't even have the guts because you're a coward and you're a tyrant. I've seen, I've seen people like you before, but not on your level. And you, are go and you are going to be put in a federal penitentiary one day. Bring those receipts. You're going to need them. You can read them in your jail cell. Have the, have the life you deserve. Thank you. Okay, let's watch Sean Paul bring the house down. Watch out, man. She can't hold her head up. She's a coward. Yeah, I do it everywhere. 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 Bro, stop. You're in public, bro. Come on. You were just on camera up there, right? I'm sorry? You gonna show me something? You live in front of six, seventeen thousand people right now. You gonna show me? What are you gonna show me? Yeah, I bet he's really intimidated by a crowd the size of El Segundo, California. I'm not intimidated by you, man. You want to make hair news goons? I'm not intimidated. You left the camera when you're talking. Get away from me, man. And look, for a man with... Huh? I can't record in public? Hey, what's up, man? What's going on? 
Shit, I heard you got a threat here. Yeah, I've been th I got a bunch of threats here. No face, no but case. Then, but yeah. then somebody, I got a bunch of threats here, but then somebody, uh, and then somebody even went up there and said that they were scared of me. Went up there crying. She was probably a plant. Really? She went up there crying, like, I'm scared of him. And she literally pointed right at me. She's like, I'm scared of him right there. No I couldn't believe it. Huh? I didn't do anything. Right. And she said she was crying, literally weeping in front of everybody saying that she was terrified of me. That's crazy, man. Well, there you have it. But you know what? I just thought of something. Let me know in the comments. I think if you want to call yourself a journalist, instead of asking for something like a published story, how about at least interview a person of interest? Just once. And no, not Otto from Allied Universal. All right, well, thank you, everybody. And a big shout out to my newest channel members. Susan Hobbins and Yvonne Cush Queen. I tell you what, I surely appreciate y'all. Well, I can tell by that sundial, it's time to say good night. Put little beans on the fire. A little seven and seven on ice. And as always, cuddle up with a clean shirt and a dirty woman. Anyway, good night. I bid you adieu.